there, we are Scott and Michelle Trailer with Blending Like Bosses. We got a comment or question submitted to us on Instagram. So we thought we'd throw it out to you guys to see how you would handle it. Um, and we'll weigh in and give our, our input on how we would handle it. Let's but it. so this one, um, this parent is saying a bio mom is writing down things about their daily happenings and a kid expresses that he wants to kill himself. Um, meanwhile, the day before, um, according to the stepmom, she was observing the kid dancing and singing and things like that, like happy, totally different situation. Mm. So is the kid making it up? Is the bio mom making it up? And why would a child act so differently? Mm. Mm, what do you think? I don't, I, unfortunately, I think we've got a little bit of experience with this. Um, uh, you know, I think from my experience, it, it is absolutely possible to see the wide swing and emotions that was described in that, um, scenario there. Um, we've had one of our kids that could one day be laughing, joking, being the life of the party at the house. And then in another minute, um, uh, basically being suicidal. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think what is really important in that scenario is that these teenagers, especially, they're already got these wide mood swings. And then if you lump, lay on top of this unresolved anger, unresolved hurt, um, trauma, trauma, um, something small could put, set them into a spiral. That's been, that's been our experience. Mm -hmm. And so I think you have to, you know, take it for I mean take it seriously um and I guess I'll stop there what, what other comments do you have well I think what you were saying about taking it seriously mm -hmm. um all you can take seriously is what you see right so yes if we opened the door to start parenting based on what another household was saying to us mm -hmm. that is going to create a ton of stress probably more conflict um and I don't know if that would create peace for the kid no. um particularly i'm always a proponent of looking for patterns so is this the first time they're saying this um is there a pattern of other emotions that leads to that right. is it a pattern that they're only with that parent and it's a lot of negative stuff like is that how they're coping we've had times where a kid has had a ton of anxiety or a stomach ache and we've had to look at that like when is this happening how often is this happening okay right. this seems to be happening when they go visit the other house so this isn't a sickness this is anxiety that's bubbling up so right. looking at it like that because we've had that where they might act a certain way at one house and yeah and not the other um and it's not that there's anything wrong with the other house. It's not, I think, I don't want to be clear about that. That's not what we're saying. It's just the swing emotions that they're dealing with. And just, you know, we, I don't know. I didn't grow up in a, in a, in a house that was divorced. Mm -hmm. I neither, didn't neither did you. And so for, for us, we don't have that experience. Um, so it's a tough, it's a tough yeah. one. I don't think it necessarily has to be that, that the, the bio mom is lying. Oh, no. Um, and I think we've always, I think going back to some of our guiding principles that we've developed over, over time is that mm -hmm. we're not in charge of the other household. Mm -hmm. We can only parent um, in our four walls. Mm -hmm. And then we have to um, trust what's happening in the other household, trust the other parent. Mm -hmm. um, because Assume the best. Assume that they... We need to assume the best. Unless there's something that's happened for us to, to believe otherwise. Right. Um, Until something happens for us to right. believe otherwise. And, um, and, and I can say that... That, that 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 has served us very very well mm -hmm. um you know we've never come back had any of the kids come back and them have you know any issues anything you know anything like that mm -hmm. um and so i think that's really really important mm -hmm. yeah. so what do you guys think um and maybe would you handle it differently would you ask different questions um what would you guys do so i'd be interested to know like one of the questions we, um before we end the video yeah. is um would you guys end up talking to the to the teenager and pulling him or her aside and saying hey you know this is something that we heard or uh, observed or 
your mom brought it up as a concern. I mean, I guess some of that might be, you know, where are you breaking the trust of the other step step parent? Yeah, I guess. Or the parent or, or whatnot. So, I guess, who's supposed to know what in that situation? Yeah. But that's not a bad idea either. I think There's just to ask the questions, yeah. Where we've had to have those side side conversations. Yeah. All right. Let us know down right. below.